All right, now we're ready to move on to scenario 2A. This here on my screen is still the simulation um, that is the output of the default simulation you can run when you land onto the advanced mode. Let's say, as part of my dimensions, I would like to add a new dimension for a creative ID. Creative ID could be, for example, an advertisement ID that could be shared across multiple users and that's encoding what was displayed in the ad. So now I want to run a simulation with that additional dimension. So let me go ahead and add that new dimension here, creative ID. And let's say I have 10 different, 10 different ads to track. So the size of my dimension here is going to be 10. One interesting thing to note here is that automatically when I add this new dimension over here, because I have not changed the total daily attributable conversion count, the count per bucket is going to be lower. Before I added this dimension, it was um, 41, but now I've added a new dimension, so I have more buckets. So the count here that you can configure as a user has been recalculated because you're going to have less conversions per bucket because we have more buckets. All right, so with this, I'm going to run a new simulation. All right, let's go ahead and run that new simulation. Right. Here, what you can see is that the noise ratios are definitely higher with that new dimension over here. This makes sense because my buckets are smaller, as we've seen. In other words, adding one more dimension means that my, my buckets are going to be more precise, right? Because now I have this additional dimension to track the creative ID. Mm -hmm. 